everyone, it's Miss Branch here, and today we're going to make another carnival theme project. So, we're working on prizes, and I thought, what would be something that could move? And so, we're going to make a fluttering butterfly. Isn't this a cool project? Yay! Alright, so, let's get started. You're going to need a piece of paper, and if you have loose leaf, of course, we got to cut the part with the holes off. You're going to need one of those skinny straws like you get at Dollar Tree. And then like one of the thicker, bigger, wider straws like you get at McDonald's. And because one straw is going to have to go inside the other straw. That's why you're going to need two different size straws. So, put those aside. One, two. Um, and you're going to need tape for this project. Along with your markers. And something to write with. And if you um, want to draw, I'll draw for Sharpie to make sure everyone can see my lines. So the first thing's first. Oh, and scissors. So the first thing's first. I'm going to have to cut off the red line because we don't need to part with the holes. And put that side part aside. Might use it for another project. And the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and fold my paper exactly in half. Making it the same on both sides. Because we're going to do a lot of symmetry in this project. And those of you who remember, symmetry is the same thing on both sides. So for the body of the butterfly, we're going to come up about one, two, three, three or four lines. Ooh, excuse me, branch. Three or four lines up, and we're just gonna fold that over. So let's see. One, two, three. Uh, yeah, three is good for me. I'm just gonna fold that like this, and I'm gonna flip on this side and give it a crease on this side as well. This part is gonna become the body, and this part up here is gonna become the wings. So I'm gonna turn it this way. Now make sure. That you are not on the open end. If you are on the open end, when you get done, you'll be so disappointed. Because you'll have two halves of a butterfly instead of two parts of, of a connected butterfly. Like so. So here, on this paper, and I'll use my Sharpie to show you. You're just going to make like a giant number three. And it's going to start at the folded line. So this is the body, this big number three. Now, your wings don't have to be this plain. If you want to do a little different, I have another folded already piece of paper. Ta-da! Oh, I didn't fold that part. And let's see. Not da-da! Ha ha ha. Fold. And fold. Now, this time I'll do it in a pencil so I'll have a guideline. And then, if I want to make it a little more fancier, I have that number three to guide me. And I can make it a little fancier. But I'm going to stick with the easier number three one. But this is just in case you have the skills and want, or want to make it a little more realistic and not so cartoonish. But it's fine with that by me. Whichever way you want to make your butterfly. So there I have my number three, and now I'm going to turn it this way, because now I need to make the head. And an easy way to make the head, right, uh, actually right here, and right here, I'm just going to draw, two, I could just draw two vertical lines. Actually, now right here, I'm going to make like a circle, or number nine. That's going to be the butterfly's head. And then the tail is more like a U shape. So I'm going to make like a U. Or backwards P. And I'll bring the line down. And make sure the lines come down. These will be like legs on your butterfly. And they have six legs. But I could draw them in later. So I can just turn that to leg number one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, but I'm not going to cut them out. They're just going to be drawn there. But I don't need to do anything else. I'll just connect them. That way when I, I can color in my body. Now, next step, cut it out, but don't cut out where the legs are. They were just there for 
decoration. Now it's important that it stays together so that you do not make your butterfly come apart because if it comes apart it will not flutter properly. And keep turning the paper just to make it easy for me. Always make it easier for you when you're cutting and not twist your body all up while you're cutting things out. So again, don't cut out the legs. They need to be together to help your butterfly stay together. Now, these little scraps that's left over, I am going to keep one little part and I'm just going to cut these two parts that are still together. I'm just going to cut a very thin rectangle. These are going to become the antennas later, but I'm just going to put them off to the side for now. And now all of my scraps, I'm going to move them out of the way because we don't need these parts. Now if you're saving all your scraps to like make a, a mosaic or something, then definitely keep them. Alright, so now I need to do some symmetry on the inside. This is the part that's going to be seen. So I now have to make whatever I put on this wing, on this wing. Now, for the interest of time, I'm not going to do it all fancy like I when I had time to do this one and take my time and add all these colors. Let's see. Push up. There we go. So, I try, still try to make the same on both sides. But what I'll just do is some real quick um, shapes and we'll call it a day on coloring. Let's see. I think I'm a butterfly. It's going to have some red. So, I will put a red circle here. That means I have to put a red circle here. Same thing on both sides. And using the wide part of the marker, I get to fill it in quickly and neatly. Let's see. Um, still in the interest of time, I think I will put like a giant orange teardrop up here. And a big orange giant teardrop up here. Let's see. One, two. Let's see. I'll do keep with the warm colors. I'll go with yellow. I think I will do another big teardrop shape or paisley shape. Again, try and keep the whatever you put on one side, you have to put on the other side just to keep it symmetrical. And symmet this is my line of symmetry here, right down the middle where it's the same on both sides. Let's see, I'll draw, throw in some blue. I'll just trace around that one. And then I think I'll go ahead and trace around all of it. But like I say, just in the interest of time, I'm not going to um, color the whole thing, but you will have plenty of time to color yours and put whatever your designs. And if you choose, you can put a design on the back side. I didn't do that on mine. The most I did was color the uh, butterfly's body on both sides. That's the most I did on mine. But you can do all that you choose because you're the artist and you get to make those decisions. So let's see. Let me go ahead and give it an eye. I'll make it a really big eye. And leave a little white white part in the middle. Flip it. And give it a really big eye. Leave that little white part in the middle. And I think I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to think I'll make the body green again. So all I'll do is just come down. One. Two. Three. Now, I didn't go all the way down because down here is actually where the legs would be. Go around the eye. Ta-da! Done. Flip it. Again. Here we go. And I'm almost done. So, I have my butterfly wings. I have my butterfly. Now I need to do the antennas. Now, with the antennas, you can 
color them if you choose to, or you can leave them white, or whatever you choose. But just in the interest of time, I'm just going to go ahead and leave them white. And then I'm going to take my pencil, and I'm going to roll them. I'll put them together, as so I can do it all at one time. Roll them up around my pencil. To give them a curve and then my little bit of glue oh you do need glue I forgot about that part a little bit of glue on the head stick one piece uh, this piece huh. this piece will go this way I don't want the curls to run into each other and this piece will go that way and then I'll go ahead and close it up and so now my antennas I probably need to curl them up a little bit more do that in a moment. Here's my butterfly with my antenna. Now I need to make it so that the wings will flap. Now that's where I need my straws. Now the smaller straw is going to hold the body in place while the bigger straw is what you're going to use to flap the wings. So first thing I need to do is take my scissors and kind of flatten it a little bit and I'm just going to cut a little bit down so that I have a little opening that I can slide the body into. See, just enough to hold the body. Now I need to go up to the wings just enough and I'm going to slide that more to the middle. And then I'm going to take my tape and I'm going to tape it down on both sides. I'm going to try and flatten it out just a little bit when I press it down. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. A little piece of tape. Press it down to hold it in place. So now I have my butterfly. And it's time to make the next part for the wings to flap. Now this piece, of course, I'm going to have to cut down a lot further. And the cool thing about McDonald's um, straws, you have the red and the yellow line. So I already know where I'm going to cut. Or I could fold it and cut it together, or I could cut them just one at a time, whichever way is easiest for you. I'm going to go ahead and try and cut them both at the same time, just so that I can make sure they're going to stay the same length. Now, I went about halfway down, because I have to go past the body, and open up a little bit, Ugh, there we go, and come up to the wings. And see, so that's going to hold the wings in place. And then I need to kind of flatten it out a bit. And that part's going to be a little difficult. So I'm going to go ahead and carefully flatten it out. Put a piece of tape here. Flatten it out. And put a piece of tape there. I probably could put one in the middle, but right now I'm just going to just put those two pieces. And then I'm going to flip it and do the same thing on this side. Again, flatten it out some, and put a piece of tape there, and flatten it out over here, and put a piece of tape there, and there. Oh, okay, I might have put too much tape. <laughs> uh, let me get it bending, that way I can get it started. Ugh. Come on, work for me. What did I... Uh-oh. Now what? 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 This one works. Oh, you know what? I did put too much tape on. Oh. I've changed up the project. So I'm going to carefully <laughs> cut this bottom tape. Carefully. Ah, that's what I did wrong. Just the tape at the top, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, so that one I carefully did. Now I gotta carefully undo this side. See? I thought I was adding something extra to the project. And I didn't follow my own directions. There we go. I made a slight cut. Oh. <laughs> well, this one did not want to work properly. I probably, because I added that extra tape. 
<laughs> but let's see where can I fix it. Let's see. It's still taped a little there. And tape there. Let me fix this tape here. <laughs> now, not everything doesn't always work out, but the cool thing is, is that these are recyclable, so I could you okay, it's going to be there, because I touched the paper, and I'm not ripping it. I can always make it again, or try and reuse it, so first you don't succeed, try, try again. And I'm going to put another piece of tape on it on there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oftentimes, my students will tell me, Miss Brands, mine's not going to be like yours. And I said, it's not supposed to be. Because you have to make it like you. Let's flip this piece out. There we go. And we're working. Yay, we have our butterfly. Yay, crisis averted. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Woo. So, everyone, as you can see, Miss Branch makes mistakes, too, because I added extra tape to mine, and it didn't work out. So, I had to cut it out and try again. Oftentimes, you got to try again. Always, the first time does not succeed. But I always say, practice, practice, practice. So, everyone, till our next project, I will see you later. Bye! <laughs>